in the previous video we set the project up uh, we created our database and we created a ticket model in this video we're going to do something uh, that's fun we're going to create um, the layout using bootstrap so let's go over to examples and see what's available see what might be appropriate for our needs so there is a dashboard template let's have a look at that i think this is ideal so let's have a look at the page source copy everything and over in the project let's go to resources views um let's create a new folder called layouts And in here, let's create a new file and call it main.blade.php and paste everything in. We're now going to chop the page up into different sections that we will include in. So we can cut the head out. Um, now, I think we'll create a new folder called Partials. And in here, we'll create a new file for the head section. Uh, I'm using a convention where I prefix all the partials with an underscore. You don't have to do this. Uh, you can, if you choose to, for organizational benefits. So I'll call this head blade php paste that in save it and back in main we can include that in so at include now the path is partials ooh, underscore head there we go we're going to do the same thing with uh, nav. Let's cut that out. Create a new partial for the navigation. So underscore navigation dot blade dot php. Paste that in. Same thing back in main. Let's include it in. Copy that. This time it's navigation. Now then, it looks like we have a sidebar, so we have to figure out where it starts and where it ends. So I think that one, that's the start of the nav. Coming down here, that's the end. So I think if we grab all that, and do the same thing, we'll cut that out um, I think we'll call this one sidebar underscore, because it's a partial dot blade dot php paste it in include it in oops Copy it, not cut it. I think it went there. This one is called sidebar. Let's come down to the bottom, and I know that there will be some JavaScript. So, uh, from here up to here let's cut that out cut that out and we'll create a scripts partial paste that in you know the routine by now it's at include partials 
scripts. Oh, you know what? I've missed out the layouts from the path. It's actually views, layouts, partials, not just partial. So we're going to need to get layouts in there. Just copy this. This is the main layout that we're going to base every other page on. So before we go any further, let's create um, the index file for our tickets. Um, now I'll create that within the views folder. I'll create a tickets folder. And within here, let's create an index file index.blade.php and straight away because we're basing on that main file we can have an at extends now it's layouts.main let's go back to main and sort the content out so uh, where does the content start? Um, I think we'll include the H2 in the content. Um, what's up there? That, I think that should be part of the content as well. So I think from the start of main to the end tag here, I think if we cut this out bit further, cut this out and paste it into index but this is going to be within a section called content and you'll see where this fits in to main in a minute so start the at section and we need to finish it with an end section and in between we'll paste in that content that we copied. Save that and in main we're not going to include the content um, this time we're going to yield it in so at yield and we've called it content so you can call it what you like but what you're yielding in here needs to be what you've called the section up here so we call it content so save that we're now going to sort out the links to our CSS references and JavaScript so if we go to the head section um, you can see that there's um, a link to the bootstrap CSS here we're gonna need to change that so we'll go to the bootstrap site and near the getting started so here's the link to the CSS we'll copy that and paste it in here so oh there's also a dashboard.css uh, that's a little different we'll need to go to the original page source here that we copied and if we click on the link and copy that now we'll put this into public CSS, create a new file and call it dashboard.css and paste that in, save that and here we're going to reference it like this. Path is a little different. It's get that in single quotes, and it's within the CSS folder. Save that. 
that's the CSS sorted out so we'll now sort out the JavaScript in the scripts partial um, and it's these references we're going to replace back over on the bootstrap website we've got some JavaScript links here so we'll just copy those and back over here uh, we'll just paste over everything like so and just save that so I think we've got the uh, layout sorted out and the only way to test it now is to create a route that we can use so in roots web let's get rid of the comment we don't need that and put a route in at the bottom so it will be a get and the path will be tickets and we'll use the ticket controller and we'll use the index method because we're going to list out all the tickets we have and we'll call this oops tickets dot index so let's just check this so ticket controller at index so we need to go into the ticket controller HTTP controllers that's the index we will return the view tickets dot index because that matches views tickets index so I think that's everything so we need to go to this path to test what we've just done okay so it's looking good just as a, a little test to satisfy ourselves we will just change this dashboard title here to something else so where is that there we go I'll just put uh, xxx at the end save that go back over refresh okay so uh, that is indeed our page that's the bootstrap layout sorted out um, we now need to generate some test data and get this index page um, retrieving the ticket rows from the ticket table and display them in a table here so we'll do that in the next video